Okay, so I'm here to share my experience sa, um, in my interview with Ryanair. Um, actually, I didn't actually. Okay, so what I want to say is to share my experience. Uh, how is the process? What is the do's and don'ts before you apply? So um, I went um, last Wednesday for the recruitment day with my friend. And because last two years ago, I applied for high fly and unfortunately, uh, I cannot fly because of one reason. And the reason is you must have a um, European passport or a passport that is from the country, uh, a country that is a member of European Union. So what happened last Wednesday is this. So I went with this suit. So usually before you apply, especially for women, you have to wear a skirt, black skirt, and nude. For Ryan Air, they need nude um, pantyhose and this white um, inner and a coat. So um, this is the um, universal uniform for applying. And what happened is um, before before you enter to the conference hall, they will ask your passport or your your citizen card, and they will check your height. In Ryanair, I um, I think they are not very strict, but they are strict with height, and especially number one is the European passport. I have a Philippine passport and a resident card from Portugal. So um, I'm still on the process of getting my citizen card from Portugal. So I don't have a European pa- a Euro- and European passport yet. So what happened is you cannot enter to the conference hall if you are above 188 centimeters, something like that. <clears throat> because the minimum is 157 and un- until 188. If you are 155, you cannot go on with the interview and if you are 189 above the maximum you cannot go on because I have a lot of um, colleagues that went with me that day that cannot go because they are 155 centimeters and above the limit also so it's it's not possible the thing is um, if you are not from the member of European Union you must have European passport first before you go to the interview for Ryanair. And the reason I I did not continue the interview because of that. It's my dream to become a flight attendant, but I need to wait for my European passport. And my friend went in because she is she has 157 uh, centimeters height. And the first thing you will do is they will present you the, the company you will listen and next you will do an English assessment exam. That's my friend did and she passed. And then after the, the English exam, uh, you will have an interview. And after the interview, the third one is um, you will wait for the email. If they, um, if they um, pass you or they can, you can proceed to the next uh, level, which is the training. Um, that is my experience with Ryanair, and I hope you learn a lot. Um, also, to make a bun, uh, actually, you can make also bun, you, you need this, or you can just tie your hair. I saw a lot of my colleagues that went with um, just uh, loosened hair, something like that. But if you are, if you want to become presented for women, this is my tip because I did my cabin crew training in Lisbon. You have this um, color, the French color of the manicure and red, okay? Red, not too not too light, not too bright, I should say, and not too dark. So the normal color red and the French color. Only two uh, colors are allowed if you want to apply in, in um, as a flight attendant. The next one is the, I use this per, per uh, earrings because this is the only allow also. When I this is what I learned when I did my um, training as a cabin crew in Lish, in a, in my school. So only pearl, usually medium size. This is a bit bigger, but I don't have a medium size anymore. So I use this; it's normal. 
and what more um yes you will use lipstick light makeup you can also use not too much you know not a uh, makeup for a uh, club or some disco so just light just put make your face and important one thing is you need to have a confident skills in speaking english because english is the universal language in aviation and wherever you go you need always to learn how to write and speak in english so what my friend did she learned from cambridge school here in portugal and she got a2 so she passed the interview for the or for the english assessment so um, before you will apply to to in any airline you must need to have a class in english and to be confident you know not to be very nervous so this is what i learned and i hope you learn and whatever your question is i am here to answer you just drop below your comment or your i will also put my email or my uh, facebook account for you to reach me so that's all and thank you